Hello YouTube and welcome to another We Run Radar tutorial. Um, I don't know if you guys can notice, but um, I have a new screen recording software which I like a lot and I actually got it off recommendation from someone that, like posted a comment on my YouTube channel and shout out to them, I'll probably have that in the description, but I like it a lot. Tell me if you guys like it. And um, what we're going to be doing today is making a pretty sweet custom Xbox 360 dashboard um, just like this in Photoshop so of course open up your Photoshop file open and I'll have um, this picture to for you guys to download and um, it's actually really big so it takes a little while to load up and um, this is basically what we're gonna use to make the background now it comes with like these weird blue lines I don't even know what those are but to get rid of those just to, uh, to get rid of those just go to view and click on extras and then this is locked, so to get rid of that, I just make a duplicate layer, click on the background, and hit delete. Deletes that layer. And then go to your rectangle select tool. Make a box around this text. And then um, make sure the top color is white. And then right click, fill, OK. And then select deselect and then make another box around this text in the orange and then hit on the top color click anywhere in the orange and right click fill okay and select deselect and now we have just the colors which is what we want make um, another copy of this layer and hit on like whatever this is um, the magic wand tool you guys might not have this you might have the quick selection tool to get the magic wand tool just right click on it and hit magic wand and um, click anywhere in the white and hit delete and then go to the other layer and hit anywhere in the orange and then hit delete on your keyboard and select deselect to get rid of that and now we just have the two layers with you know the single colors on each layer and then what I usually do is I click on this eye to get rid of the orange. I just, um, I don't know, it just feels like it's easier to work with. Because we just leave the orange anyway, we don't do anything with it. Because it doesn't show up when we actually put it on our Xbox 360s. So, then you go to the paint bucket tool, which again, you guys might have the gradient tool. Just right click and hit the paint bucket tool. And then I fill it in, this whole background in with a black. And then I make a new layer, and then I go to my brush tool, and then I actually really like brushes that I just found. I'll have a link to download them in the description. And then I just, um, you know, make them kind of big. And then for the color, I just uh, make a bright red, and then just kind of click somewhere, you know. Really, that's like. Cause you're just gonna make like a little path of like this scratchy brush style and then I add in a gray like a lightish I don't know medium gray and then I get those brushes again now for this you can just pick like any random brush that's in that set and then what you're gonna do is just kind of I don't know click around the red but smaller than the red Gray. go to the white and then what you want to do for the white is just make sure you get it enough to pretty much overlap the gray. So you can see a little bit through the white, so you'll be able to see the gray. But don't make it so huge that it um, totally covers the uh, red. So now we have this. And... Um, all we gotta do now is add our text and the little squigglies in the background. So just go to your text and select the text Officer X. I'll have a um, link to download the Officer X font in the description. And you're gonna like your font size has to be really big. Mine is set at 170. And then double click on that layer. And then I usually hit Bevel and Emboss, Contour, um, Gradient Overlay, Stroke drop shadow and outer glow and then for stroke I usually set it on 2 
and for gradient overlay click on this little bar and then click on this little like red or not red white I don't know thing in the corner and then go up to that same bright red color that you used before and hit OK and then for the outer glow I put it on normal and for the color I put it on uh, a black and then I make the size like way bigger so it's visible like 24 29 seems fine and then hit OK and then now we have to do all we have to do is make those squiggly things in the background so make a new layer um, right above the background like the very bottom layer and um, go to your brush tool and like really for the brushes you use like it doesn't really matter but I'll put um, a link to I think the brushes that I use in the description and uh, make sure the color that you're using is white and um, but really like the the brushes that you use don't matter because you're not really gonna see what's in the background anyway and I just kinda you know hit random brushes that I think would look you know fine if they're being all blurred out and what I went for is just try to um, fill in everything you know fill in as much space as um, you can with this um, and it doesn't have to look perfect by any means because like it's all gonna get blurred out so don't try too hard on this and I usually find where's that little brush I usually use there's like this little brush not this one I don't know I usually find like a little brush or I make a brush really small and I just kind of um, put it like everywhere just to like fill in like the spots that don't have anything and once all my brushes or once everything is basically filled up in the background go to filter blur motion blur and then I blurred it mine by 41 pixels and then hit OK and then wait for you know the blur to come in effect it'll probably take a little bit because again the file is like massive and then um, click on the eye so you can see the orange um, bottom again and this is what it'll look like when it's on your um, Xbox 360 except you won't see the orange you'll see the original Xbox 360 bottom and then to save it just go to file save as save it as a JPEG um, you can name it whatever you want I'll just you know keep generally the same name and uh, save it put for quality maximum so you know because you, you don't want it to be shitty because it's gonna be you know on your Xbox and you're gonna see it every day and then now it's saved right here and to put it on your Xbox what you're gonna use is a um, a flash drive or a USB you you know probably should have one like a lot of people do and you know open the file view content and then what you're just gonna take the picture that you saved and drag it into the you know the flash drive window and then you can just as you can see I have you know the original and then this one and then you can just take out your flash drive and then that window will go away and then what you're gonna do with your flash drive is put it into the front of your Xbox there's like the a little USB thing there's two of them actually it's like the same thing that you can use to charge your controllers put it in there and then on your um, dashboard go to find pictures it'll be somewhere on your dashboard and then go to portable device and then find this picture that you have on your USB and then hit Y I think it's Y and then that sets it as your background it'll it'll say like somewhere in the bottom like press Y to set as background or press X something like that and then wait a few seconds and because at first the bottom will be orange but wait a few seconds um, and go back to you know like the main uh, dashboard and it'll be um, the default Xbox 360 bottom and it'll end up looking like this right here so this has been another we run radar tutorial if you uh, like it rate comment and subscribe and uh, that's all I got see ya